Well, Carl, we're glad to have you here. And so I want to get your perspective. You see what is going on with Ross. You see what's happening in our society. And I understand that by training, you are a lawyer. Uh, what do you see happening? Is it moving toward the good side? Or are we uh, doomed? Or what are your takes as a lawyer and as a lover of freedom? You know, I think on a federal level, we are close to doomed. <laughs> um, I certainly think on a state level there is work that can be done. Of course, that's why we have the Free State Project. That's why I'm passionate about it. That's why I moved to New Hampshire from New York City. You know, New Hampshire ain't no New York City. So in some ways, you know. But I know you got all those books there. Are you in New Hampshire now? I am in New Hampshire. Um, in fact, my husband is running a hackathon upstairs, so I'm downstairs in the library. Okay. And. You know, so I think, I mean, we need criminal justice reform. We obviously need to end the war on drugs. People think Trump might be able to drain the swamp. I am uh, not as optimistic as other people. I think the swamp is undrainable. I think the swamp sucks. And we should try to get as far away from the swamp as possible. Can we watch on that? That's untweetable. The swamp sucks. <laughs> uh, the swamp is full of monsters. And, you know, so I, I, I spent my time with the Free State Project. You know, we're trying to concentrate people who are lovers of liberty in one place. Uh, handed off those rings after we triggered the move this year. And um, I actually brought a prop because um, Lynn mentioned Nick Gillespie, who did the interview with Edward Snowden at Liberty Forum this year. Uh, Liberty Forum is coming up next year, February 2nd to the 4th. Lynn will, of course, be there again. Um, and I think we're going to be doing some of these videos. Of course, anyone, I'm sure Tatiana, uh, James, you know, Terry, all of you feel free to come. You know, it's no anarcho but you know, we still have the best here in town. It's equally fun. Really good people here. It is fun. Just not yeah. as, as warm and beachy. But, um, you know, we, we had Edward Snowden, who of course talked a little bit about Ross's case. But I talked to Nick before the time, and you know, Nick's very esoteric, and he was kind of going down these intellectual roads, and I got really concerned that he wasn't going to get to Ross. So we had these, uh, we had these Snowden masks that uh, everyone was using, you know, and I talked to Ed before he came on the air, and I had to warn him, hey, you're going to look out into a room with you know, 500 people with a mask of your face, so don't have a heart attack. Uh, and that was a sweet moment, but you know, Nick was going on and on, and I was like, this is a really important question. This is something I want recorded. This is something we need to talk about. So I had a Sharpie with me. If you're a good conference manager, you always have a Sharpie with you. So I had written, I hope you guys can see I guess. this. <laughs> oh, and I was just sitting there. Joseph, what you have? Joseph, get what you have? So I was sitting there and I was like, oh my god, we're running out of time. We have to, you know, I really want Ross to be part of this conversation because this issue is so important. So I sat there with the side and I just kept sticking it in front of his face as he talked about it. And of course there we were from the that uh, you know, he, he feels very confident that there was, you know, illegal surveillance that took place and then that was part of the way that they sort of got him. So, as an attorney, I'm really hopeful that we will, you know, see some of these issues come out on the pill, that we will really be able to delve into the criminality of what happened here. It was not a fair trial and, you know, it, hopefully we'll see some great results on appeal. In the meanwhile, I think we need to be spreading this message. Um, I grew up in apartheid South Africa. Um, I was part of, you know, the anti apartheid um, activist, you know, and in the late 80s and early 90s, we saw the big free Mandela movement, and I really want to see the free black movement get there. And, you know, we need to think about ways that that can happen. And I think for that, we're going to need a lot of international support. Yeah. We, we actually have a lot of international support, but of course we need more support worldwide. And um, like Mandela, Ross's case represents so much more than just him. 
And um, so I agree because it represents so many, so many important things. And you know, there's a, a video of that event that you talked about with Edward Snowden on our uh, website homepage. And he said it's unthinkable that the NSA was not involved in this case, in this investigation, which is illegal. And uh, I found out just recently that one of the corrupt agents who's now in prison, Sean Bridges, was working for the NSA at the time that he was investigating the Silk Road, which I thought was a very interesting um, piece of fact. Yeah, I mean, um, anyway, the corruption is everywhere. The NSA is not allowed to spy on American citizens, but I've been told it's, it's common for them to do that, then to feed the uh, information to the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, who then creates um, a parallel construction, another story about how they found the evidence, which is not what, how they really found the evidence. No, I mean, it's, we all know the shenanigans of theirs. It's, it's just, it's a travesty, of course. Exactly. Is that the legal term for it, shenanigans? <laughs> it is when you haven't practiced for a while. <laughs> and I know you need to get to other guests, so there were just a couple of other things I did want to mention. Please. Uh, uh, you know, I, I started writing to Ross about a year ago, and, uh, you know, we exchanged letters and sometimes we miss each other because he's moving along for his trial. Um, but I want to encourage people who are watching this so to watch it later. Go to the website, get the address, send him just a postcard, send him a letter. I think it's really important um, for anyone you know who's been in the army or I was in boarding school. And it's just nice to know there are people out there who care, who are passionate. If you're a graphic designer, maybe you can make like really cool postcards that we could put out, you know, so he's getting postcards and he really knows that it's about the support from the outside, but that there's not that much pressure on him to respond to everyone. Because I imagine that's also kind of hard. I know when he got my first letter, he was kind of like, this is weird woman, what's going on? And it has to be like, dude, I don't want to marry you. I have, I have a husband. <laughs> and I know your mom, you know? So just really, so that he can feel and understand that there are a lot of us here who really care about him. And then I wanted to just read it's just one sentence from a letter. It's very generic. Um, I, I know I talked to the lawyers and they said, you know, they don't want us to share things, but I think this would be fine. And, and I'd like to leave on this note. So this is from one of Ross's letters. And he says, however free or unfree you find yourself, it is always possible to become freer and in one way or another, it is the spiritual journey of each person to strive ever more for liberty. Mm. Right on. Right, very profound. Well, Carla, we appreciate what you're doing, what you've done for joining us today. As a matter of fact, we'll have our own cards here. Uh, thank you, Carla. We appreciate that. Dude, do you like our fancy graphics that we have there, Carla? It's almost as fancy as mine. <laughs> it is. Carla, if someone says, hey, I want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to reach you? Um, you know, find me on Facebook, Carla Garris, that's G-E-R-I-C-K-E. -E. Um, check out freestateproject.org. Also, my new organization is the Foundation for New Hampshire Independence. And as I said to Ed Snowden, uh, you know, I hope one day Ross can come live in a free and independent New Hampshire. All right, Carl, thank you so much again. Thank you for who you are, what you've done. We appreciate all that. And for those of you who joined